All right, people, what's up, everyone, and welcome to another video, and it's time to take a look at the first reviews for Little Nightmares 2, which comes out, I think, on Thursday, which I guess, I swear, every, like, games come out on every day now. Uh, something just came out recently on Wednesday. Was it Hitman 3? I think Hitman 3 came out on Wednesday. Um, games now come out on Thursdays. You had, like, a, a, a Cyberpunk came out on Thursday. I think uh, the PS5 came out on Thursday. Games come out on Fridays, Tuesdays. Um, I think Monday is, like, the only day games don't come out right now, besides for the weekends. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... Thursday, Little Nightmares 2, uh, and of course we got Mario on Friday, so maybe reviews came out for that by now, uh, I'm not too sure, but uh, I did see IGN put up a review for Little Nightmares 2, and uh, I didn't see what their score was, I just saw on IGN, where I, I wasn't even on IGN, it was just like, I was on my YouTube, and then it said Little Nightmares 2 review, I was like, oh, so let's uh, take a look, uh, I never finished Little Nightmares 1, but we're going to do it for our Games Gone By series, which is just like a kind of like a book club for video games we do monthly and uh that's going to be the game for this month uh so we're going to be playing that later this month but i do want to play little nightmares 2 when it comes out so i'm thinking maybe i'll just binge one and two maybe one like tomorrow and then like because you could be down like three three and a half hours maybe um and then uh play little nightmares 2 on thursday or maybe i guess i could just probably play little nightmares 2 I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Because I got like two hours into Little Nightmares 1 and I just never went back to it. Anywho, let's get to this. Alright, you ready? Wait. <sighs> Alright, let's go. Uh, I'm going to guess... I think the first one had like mid-90s. 90s, no. Not that high. Um, Mid-80s, I think. It was like 84, 85. I'm going to say this one's going to be the same. I'm going to say this one's an 80... You know what? I'm going to say 86. I, f I have a good, f I have a feeling deep down in my plums, it's gonna be good. So let's find out. Let's go. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Wait. wait. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, boy. Damn. Persona Five Strikers has reviews already. Doesn't that come out at the, like the end of the month? All right. Little Nightmares Two, eighty two. I guess we're gonna do Persona Five Strikers also. <laughs> I didn't know that came out. Um. All right. Eighty four for that. That might be one of the highest rated like. Uh, what do they call Muso? Muso games? You know, Dynasty Warriors? That I've ever seen. Like, even, like, when uh, Hyrule Warriors came out last year, it had, like, a 78. I was like, wow, that's really high for a Muso game, I feel like. Um, 84. I, I, need to, I need to play Persona 5 Gold and Arroyo, or whatever the hell it's called. Um, but anyway, Little Nightmares 2, 82. That's a little bit less than I thought, but that's still great. I, I mean, that doesn't matter. Uh, ooh, four, 49 reviews. <laughs> that's a lot of reviews. Um... All right. Oh, it's number, what did it say? Number three best PS4 game of 2021. Hell yeah. High fives. High fives. We got number three, baby. What's number two and one? I'm assuming Hitman's one of them. What's the other game? Oh, sorry. I guess it, it has an 85 on. Oh, wait. What? Okay. I need, a, I need an update this. We need, a, hey, we need an update on this. 83 is not higher than 84. Unless Hitman 3 actually went down. No, it did. Well, it only has seven reviews, though. No, little Numbers 2 has 49. Yeah, it's a little... It's not as fair, but whatever. All right, let's see uh, the reviews. Let us see the reviews. Can I zoom in? Yeah, let's zoom in. For some reason, it was all messed up. Anyway... Let's read, let's read this uh, 10 out of 10 from Dark State. Dark Station. Little Nightmares 2 builds greatly upon what the first title achieved and pushes great pushes with great effort to accomplish even more in its setting design and gameplay and it absolutely succeeds in every area of the game from start to finish of this four to five hour experience all right so it's a little bit longer than the first game you'll be sat on the edge of your seat wanting nothing more than to go back in the opposite direction but the world design and your curiosity will compel you to delve no not me i'm fucking i'm not going i'm not doing it i'm not doing it this is going to be a 10 hour game for me. Delve ever deeper into the horrors that await. I'm confident that fans of the first game will absolutely love this installment. And any. I had the mouse cursor on. I was like, what word is that? And any newcomers should go back and play both these games without a doubt. The settings are both creepy and beautiful, and I really hope to see more from Tarsar Tar Studios in the future. Is it Tassier or is it Tarsier? Tarsier? I don't know. I've seen that name so many times because I've been following Little Nightmare. It's weird. Like, it's one of those games where, I, like, I follow Little Nightmares a lot through trailers and stuff. And 
but I don't play it. I, I still have to, I want to play the DLC also for Little Nightmares 1. But, uh, okay, cool. Digital Chumps. Uh, yeah. You know, let's read Digital Chumps. I've never read, I don't think I've ever even heard of Digital Chumps. If I haven't, I don't think I've read anything. Or if I have, I haven't, I don't think I've read anything from them. Um, Little Nightmares 2 is a testament to horror and games. Terzer Studios evokes the player in a sense of dread throughout uh, through impeccable sound design and that often hints at something terrifying several screens away. Great. That sounds awesome. It is a perfect digestible length that often allows somewhat frustrating controls and, a, and combat to be passed over relatively quickly. Okay. Controls aren't great. I don't remember the controls being really annoying from what I played in Little Nightmares 1, but I do remember there was a couple of really annoying parts where you have to like like make some horrifying creature go over here while you go over there and it's only frustrating because it's scary so it's like i don't want the thing to touch me because it's weird um and uh i'm just going over here while this thing's going over there there's like something to do with like books i remember there's a bookcase with books and you have to like like run through like a kind of a labyrinth of if anybody played little nightmares one they, they might know what i'm talking about um from the very dis uh vague description i'm given but it was like a i don't know anyway um, but nothing can compare to the world in the ominous, uh, ominous. Can I read today? Fuck me. Open-ended story that punches you in the gut several times. Often Little Nightmares 2 and the emotional uh, typhoon. I keep wanting to say, uh, is there a, is there a, um, is there like a disorder where you read words completely dead? Like you, 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 when you read words and no, don't say stupidity. I know someone's already saying that, but, uh. <laughs> All right, no, I have that. But uh, is there a disorder where you just like read words as different words, but they're like close? Like I was about to say triumphant, which isn't really close, but at least it starts with a T instead of typhoon. Whatever. Uh, or I was gonna say triumph, but whatever. And that swirls players were up with a constant and crushing down in fear of what lies behind a darker doorway, and it's in the vast chasm of the unknown. Okay, digital chumps, Jesus. Where a little nightmares too creeps along with the best horror games of its ilk. Okay. And let's go to some bad review. Actually, you know what? Let's say uh, where was IGN's review? Because I saw they did one. That's XGN. God is a geek gave it a nine. Hell yeah. God is a geek. I always read their reviews. Usually not on video, though, because I don't want to embarrass myself. Where is the IGN review? Did I miss it? Was it really high? Maybe it was really high up there in the nest. They give it a 9? What'd you give it? I know they did a review because I saw the thumbnail. I saw the video. I didn't watch the video. I saw it. IGN Italia. Uh, maybe they reviewed it for Switch? That'd be weird. Maybe Xbox? Okay, 80 on Xbox. Oof. Yeah, they did. Oh, they gave it a 7? What a bunch of dicks. Anyway, what'd they say? Little Nightmares 2 delivers similar stealth and scares to the original, but leaves less of a lasting impact. Oh. Xbox Achievements gave it a 6. Damn. Despite contriving its fair share of unsettling moments, Little Nightmares 2 is a disappointing follow-up to one of 2017's most pleasant surprises. It might be a better game or a bigger game than its forebear, but it certainly isn't better. An engaging and well-produced adventure, but regularly frustrating, both narratively and playfully. <laughs> uh, that was from... How do you, you say this? Jayu Video? Yahoo? Jayu? I'm going to say Jax. Jax Video. <laughs> Pretend it's little, uh, little Mortal Kombat. Or little Jax. Baby Jax. It's one of my favorite big ballets. When the arms are too heavy and you can't move. Was that for Mortal Kombat 9? Is that... <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, are oh, you Mortal Kombat fan? Uh, Game Informer gave it a 9.25. Uh, this impressive follow-up builds on its predecessor with emotional gut punches and unnerving visuals that stick with you. Okay. And here's Jeff Keighley. He's announcing, I guess. Because this uh, this uh, got announced not too long ago, too. Wasn't it like mid-last year or something? Um, maybe I'm wrong about that. But I feel like it wasn't too long ago it got announced four years later though took a long time for it to come anyway cool 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 i want to go back though all right i don't want to read too many reviews because yet i have 39 too that's really good let's see switch real quick okay pc okay it's just going down and down but ps4 seems like it's the best one right now from the reviews um i don't want to read too many because i'm afraid they might actually i think that description is kind of spoiling stuff um Stop playing. Vi I hate when they autoplay videos. Fuck off. Um, 
I don't want to read too much just in case they spoil Persona 5, but uh, let's let's read. Uh, oh, there's Digital Chumps. I didn't like it as much as Little Nightmares. Uh, do, do, do Cultured Vultures. I like that name. Uh, Persona 5 Strikers will catch you off guard in the best way. You'll never see it coming. <laughs> you never see it coming. I did play Persona 4 Golden, so. Uh, not Royal, though. Or regular Persona 5. I mean, I, I guess I played a few hours into regular Persona, Persona 5, but I never. I didn't get too far into it. Uh, Scream Rant. I don't read there. Fucking read. Um, let's see. IGN. They give it 8. Persona 5 Strikers. Simple real time combat is consistently engaging. And its summer vacation story, while slimmed down, is a sequel nearly worth of the two it lacks at the. Is a sequel nearly worth worthy of. The, I'm sorry. Nearly worthy of the two it lacks at the end of its title. Let me read that again. And it. <laughs> Two, so he's saying Persona 5 2? Is that what he's trying to say? Okay, fine. <laughs> I don't care. I'm done. <laughs> I do want to play Persona 5 very, very soon. Uh, I'm even thinking of ditching games I'm playing right now just to say fuck it and play that game. Because, uh, oh, look at Destruction All Stars. Jesus. Yikes. 64. 64 bit. 32 bit. 16 bit, 8 bit, 4 bit, 2 bit, 1 bit, half bit, quarter bit, the wrist game. Angry video game nerd. Um, so fun but no content. Okay. <laughs> so fun but no content. I wish that was the whole review. So fun but no content. It's true. Like, I was playing that game, I was like, all right, I played all the modes. They're all very similar to one another. I can't believe they were going to charge $70 for that game. That would have been the world's biggest ripoff. This game honestly should just be free to begin with, from what I played. Because when I heard it was $70, I was like, that's so shit. But maybe, maybe it'll have plenty of content to make up for it. No. 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 Alright, let's go to Open Critic. Uh, this is a really weird video, but let's do it. Open Critic. And we're, we won't read too many, but, uh, let's see. Alright, uh, Little Nightmares 2, 80, oh, Little Nightmares 2 here has the upper hand on Persona 5 Strikers. So, 84 is when it becomes mighty, I get it, because Persona 5 Strikers isn't mighty. It's strong, though, it's strong. Ah, ah, strong, strong Persona. Uh, 63. First, first score, I see 63. Strong. Uh, strong. Eh. While Persona 5 Strikers disappointingly removes the mainline series' as social links, I figured that. It carries over enough familiar elements to be a true success. Um, for the best version of a high school reunion. Oh, that's, that sounds awesome. I really want to play Persona 5 Royal. It's just like one of those games that's going to be like an 80, 90, 100 hour, like, fucking... I have to really, like, stop playing everything else. Right now, I'm playing Control on PS5, even though I just played that game last year. It's a good game to play while I'm listening to a podcast, because I already played that game. So, it's like, hey, yeah. And then that game's fun, gameplay-wise. It's really fun. So, I don't know. Um, it's challenging at times, but it's fun. <laughs> Alright, let's look at Persona. I mean, uh, Little Numbers 2. 94% critics recommend. That's pretty good. Oh, Bradley Ellis gave it 8.5? Hell yeah. He liked it. It's easy, allies. I trust their reviews way more than most. Uh, Lone Nightmares 2 is a horrifying journey that occasionally loses its way. Uh, whether you're a seasoned survivor or an all-new player, you have a thrilling time with the sequel. It's ideal to start from from the beginning, but it's not mandatory. This freaky story stands on its own. Okay, cool. I, 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 I like to read the structured reviews, too. Um, Shack News, let's read this one, this is the last one. When an excellent blend of horror and puzzles like is a home run for Studios and Bandai Namco Entertainment. Read that one fucking flawlessly. Wow, what a flawless read. Good job, Gore, you fucking idiot. Anyway, there you go, that's it. Uh, Little Nightmares 2. Uh, it's looking good. So, hey, it's good. Good, good for you. You know, fucking cookie.